Adam here at uh, M7 Adventures. Uh, thanks for uh, checking us out. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, check out my uh, independent Amsoil dealer webpage at uh, uh, m7synthetic.myamsoil.com. Um, today um, we're going to be working on my 89 F250. Uh, over the last couple months, randomly, uh, you'll just be at a stoplight or driving, usually slowly, uh, just above an idle, and the truck will just stall. Uh, you can start it right back up, sometimes drive it after that, other times uh, it has to cool down, and then you can start it up and it'll drive for weeks, no problem. So I was talking to a technician, a friend of mine at the dealership, and he said that they were known for uh, the ignition control module uh, to overheat. It's mounted right on the uh, 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 coil there. And um, so it just gets overheated. Sometimes it needs to cool off. And uh, so we're gonna go step by step through replacing this and hopefully that'll clear up our issue. And if not, you know, I don't know if it'll be a fuel pump issue or what we're dealing with here, but one step at a time, hang in there. Okay, so uh, this is the module we're talking about right down here. Uh, you can't really, with the glare from the sun, we're getting a pretty tough to see, but right there it is. Uh, see this little clip holding the, uh, uh, wires on the end there and then it has like three little plugs that go up underneath the distributor here that's what I meant to say uh, earlier in the video I said uh, coil but the word didn't come to me uh, that's the bottom side of the distributor there so we're gonna get that uh, get that there's two screws there's one up there you can see that screw hole and one bottom left down there so we're gonna get those screws pulled out, drop that down, unplug that, get this module replaced and see what we can find right, out. Here. So, uh, tools we're gonna need here is a, a five and a half mil deep well quarter inch drive socket here. Gotta be deep well. Um, 13 mil uh, quarter inch drive uh, in order to uh, with 13 mil, you'll use right down in here. Can you see it? Yeah, that rusty bolt that's facing up, you can see that that holds that distributor tight because you have to spin this module right here. This module has to be spun. It was, it was rotated clockwise such that you couldn't reach that back uh, bolt hole there because it was up against uh, the thermostat housing here. So you gotta spin it. Uh, don't forget to mark your position down here on the distributor. If you don't mark the distributor with the block, you don't know where to put it back, so your timing will be off if you do this. So, you know, I put a mark. Uh, you can vaguely see it's hard because of the sunlight out here. That marker up there, the top. So I marked the bottom of that uh, cylinder there, the portion of the uh, distributor and then mark the block as well. So you can line those back up and then you can take those bolts off. I've got one off so far. I'm gonna take the other one off here in a second. Then we'll pull that module out of there. All right, so this is the way I went about it. First of all, I pulled this cap off here. Clip over there, clip back in here. Pulled the cap off, started to try to take a screw inside here and a screw on the back side to take the inside of this cap off and you may have guessed it started to strip inside the screw so instead of pushing it further in case i ever actually need to take it off i put all that back on then i completely removed down there the screw here that uh that holds the distributor down in so you can see i've got the distributor pulled right up out of the block because this here, you couldn't access that screw up against that. So I had to pull it up. And then even then, that screw there, I had to have WD-40. I had to try for an hour and a half to get that little screw out right there. So I'm pretty fed up. But got it out. New module. Plugged in. Now I'm just going to put the screws back in. Then I've got to line everything up. I'll... Uh, pick back up with you in a little bit. Uh, oh, you might be able to see it with that light on there. Going in there, I made a dark mark right up there, just above the white on my fan, it's blurry. 
and it lines up with the groove that's marked here on the block, uh, which is, you know, a couple of degrees, uh, I assume it's a couple of degrees advanced. Uh, so, but anyway, I marked it right where it was set. And then we'll take the cap off here and I'll show you where I marked that one too. Because now that I pulled that up out of there, that gear is going to go back down into the block. And then I got to make sure everything's lined up here. All right. So you'll see I got one tooth or two teeth off because I marked that right in the middle there. And that was supposed to line up over here, which of course it doesn't. So now we're going to pull this back up out of the block. Mark, turn it a tooth or two so that we can see if we can get that lined up while that's lined up and we'll be back. All right, guys. So four or five tries to get that uh, that gear back into the, the block properly so that the rotor matched up, the line matched up. You can see right down. Can you see the top right in front of my finger? Black, black. Everything lines up. Got this plug back in. Just got to put the intake hoses back on here that I pulled up out of the way to work here. New Motorcraft module in it. Here it goes. Here now. we are finished up sitting in the truck. So, you know, uh, like I said, symptoms were uh, first time I had an issue and I'm filthy. Head to toe, been wrestling with this thing all afternoon, probably four or five hours. So, symptoms were two months ago I was at Walgreens pulling through the pharmacy, had just driven it home from work 16 miles, stopped at a railroad tracks for a train. It was about 92 degrees. Got to Walgreens, uh, sitting in line, stalled. It would turn over, act like it wanted to start a little bit, spitter, sputter, stall. Let it sit half an hour, climbed underneath it, checked everything out, everything looked good. Fired it up, drove it home, drove for two months, not another hiccup. Last night, another 87, 88 degree evening, driving home from work. Uh, the truck, uh, for whatever reason, I know that that ignition module affects timing, it affects the way the cylinders fire. So the truck was running hot, uh, never has before. Uh, didn't drop any coolant, just the, the gauge was up three quarters of the way where normally it's, you know, about half or slightly over. As Soon as the gauge got up there, I was in a drive through line again, S went to start to stall. So I pulled out of the line and pulled into a parking spot. So I didn't block traffic, stalled. Couldn't get it started, couldn't get it started. 15 minutes later, started enough to drive it around to a different parking spot where I knew I could get it towed and then had it towed home. Thank goodness for roadside assistance. Cost me a dollar to have it towed. So I put this module on, on the advice of a 35 year Ford technician, said that they had multiple TSBs on this back in the day. Uh, the module looked like it very well could have been original motor craft, uh, cracked, uh, grease on the back of it, almost dry. Um, so bought a motor craft part down at AutoZone, thought I better go legit on, on that part since it already fails. Uh, so put it in, took all afternoon here on Saturday. Moment of truth's coming up, we're about to fire it up here. So uh, just hang in there with me. So here we are, just fired it up. It started out at an idle of about 1500 RPMs, dropped down to 1000, dropped down to 800, now dropped down to 700. Now last night when it was giving me trouble, when it dropped down to this 700 RPMs is when it started wanting to stall after I had it in the parking spot after it stalled once already. Boy, she's idling beautiful. Temperature's starting to come up a little bit. Really idling nice, no surge. About 80 degrees tonight. Guys, I am really hoping that this is what this truck needed. Now, obviously it's running like a charm right now, but like I told you before, previously when the truck cooled down, it ran good anyway, so I'm gonna have to keep you posted on this. But right now it's running like an absolute dream. I'm gonna let the 
uh, temperature come up just a little bit more, take it around the block a couple of times, not too far in case it leaves me because I don't feel like towing it again. Thank goodness for roadside assistance, like I said. Guys, thanks for following. Have a great night. Appreciate you hanging in there with us. God bless. So sure was hoping that was going to take care of the issue. Uh, of course it didn't. Ended up driving the truck uh, uh, an hour, let it idle. Uh, ran it up to a favorite place of mine. I like to just drive some back roads and take it easy with my old truck. And uh, got it back home. Thank goodness made it back home. And then uh, the truck stalled again. <laughs> so five and a half hours all Saturday. Tired as a dog. New ignition control module. So, hey, that's the thing. With these old trucks, I mean, you got to replace parts because they get brittle and old and crack and fail anyway. So, I mean, it didn't hurt to replace it. Replace it with a Motocraft part. So, good deal. But, um, so, ends up turning out that I needed an in-tank fuel pump. I did not regrettably get a video of replacing that. My dad and I did it. I had the tank laying on my stomach while it was underneath the truck. Uh, no good video of it. So got a new ignition control module out of the deal, uh, but also needed an in-tank fuel pump to take care of that intermittent issue. Uh, must be the pump was just intermittently working. Um, I've now driven the truck for a couple of weeks, no problems. Um, so next is just to replace the front tank. So I've replaced the rear tank and, uh, in tank fuel pump. Uh, so I have to, you know, had to run off the rear tank all the time. Uh, need a new front tank uh, fuel pump, which I actually have just, just did that as well. Uh, so guys, I'm absolutely cruising. Uh, able to use both tanks. Um, I've got about 480 to 500 miles range. I'm getting about 15 miles to the gallon, just under 14.8 to 15 miles a gallon with this old truck. Uh, it's been a great truck. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, check out my website, like we mentioned, and uh, uh, everybody have a great day.